Okay, in this video, I want to talk about how to make a chart in Crystal Reports. Uh, so here we have a report, and we, we've made this report in previous examples. You can see it has a group and it has uh, some subtotals. To be able to make a chart in Crystal Reports, you need, uh, you need at least to have one group and at least one subtotal. It doesn't really want you to make a, a chart out of the detail because you, usually there's too much detail. All right, so uh, we're going to use the group. Now we're going to go back to Design View for this one. Here I'm in Design View. Uh, here's the icon to make a um, to make a chart. So you're going to click on that. Now look at my mouse. My mouse has the circle with the line through it. That means I can't put it there. There's only four sections where we can put the chart. Follow my mouse. It lets me put it into the report header but not in the page header. See, I'm just going to click on there and nothing happens. So it won't even let you put it into the page header. The sections where you can put the chart are the report header, the group header, the group footer, and the report footer. It won't let you put the chart in the page header, the details, or the page footer, as we can see. The only places that we can put the chart are the report header, the group header, the report footer, and the group footer. So I'm going to click on the report header. Okay, now the default chart type, as we can see, is a uh, column chart. So um, now when we run the report, we'll be able to change that chart, but the default chart type is a column chart. When we run this report right now, the report's going to look pretty good. I'm going to pick on preview. Uh, so notice how the chart came out. Uh, so it gave us a, um, it did each country, and it gave us the subtotal for each country, and it even shows us the legend. So that's a pretty good looking chart, you know. Uh, so you can see it really wasn't that difficult to make. So uh, let's see how we're going to modify this chart. What you're going to do is you're going to right click on your chart, and you're going to pick, there's two that are very important here, the chart expert and chart options. Let's go into chart options. Uh, now, if you ever made a chart in the, uh, in the older versions of Excel, these are very similar options. Uh, so we have titles, data labels, legend, grid lines, very similar to what you might have found in the older versions of Microsoft Excel. Now, if you made a chart in Microsoft Excel 2007, you know it's quite different. So I'm just talking about the, uh, the like version 2003 and before. This is very similar to the chart options of Microsoft Excel. So let's try a couple of these. One that's really popular is the data labels. The data labels will allow you to make a, um, to put the number on each individual bar. So I'm going to say data labels and then show data labels. We'll click on that. And then notice how the numbers appeared on the middle of the, um, of the bar. If you wanted to move that, you would pick on label location. Then you would pick on outside maximum. And notice how the number moved to the uh, top of the bar. So if I click on OK, we can see that, that it looks like that on the actual chart itself as well. All right, so that looked good. Now, how about those lines? Some people want the lines in there, or maybe they want the vertical lines also, or they don't want any lines. Uh, I'm going to right-click on the chart again. We'll pick on Chart Options again. Here, there's one that's called Grid Lines. Now, uh, I already have the horizontal lines. So that must be the, the data axis, and the vertical lines must be the group axis. So I can turn those on or off as I need to. So if I click on OK, notice how I have um, the notice how I have the lines in my chart. Uh, now another thing that we can do with this is we can change the chart type. To do that, you're going to right click on the chart, pick on for, uh, the chart expert, and you can see this is where we can change the chart type. Some of these chart types aren't even available in Excel. So a really popular one is a pie chart. I'll pick on pie over there. Now, uh, the other important thing under the chart expert is this is where you're going to tell it where, where the data is coming from. Let's pick on data. Uh, this pull down will show all of our different groups. We only have one on this report, but if there was more than one, they would show up here. This pull down is going to show all of the different um, subtotals. We only have one, but if there was more than one, they would show up there. So this is where the data is going to come from when you, uh, when you make a chart. And now we have a pretty nice pie chart, as we can see. All right. So a couple important points about making a chart here in Crystal Reports. First of all, you want to have at least one group and at least one subtotal, which we do. The chart itself can go into the report header, the group header, the report footer, or the group footer. 
and uh, you're going to right click on the chart and then you can pick either your chart options or your chart expert and it actually should give you enough information to start with your charts here in Crystal Reports.